Hi everyone. This is part of my secret section and we're going to show about the woman ending the game. Basically destroying the world to start the end of days when the wrath of the lamb comes. When I make these movies I am always trying to bring new people in and you have to always remember that a person that's just coming into anything I'm showing is they're going to be hit with an awful lot of evidence that takes an awful lot to explain. So it's hard to bring everybody up to speed in each and every video to show what's going on. In these secret sections I try to just move on. Hopefully you have seen the over 10 to 15 different hieroglyphs we've broken down from around the world, all of the scripture we've gone over, all of the different evidence to the point that everything I show, I'm showing is undeniable. I have every single video shows the same evidence as a detective this case is proven it's this is how the end of days is coming now Jennifer Lawrence has played a character in the Hunger Games and in the new movie the X-Men Days of Future Past and her character actually represents an angel from the Bible somebody that most people you know don't even consider to exist there are actually entities involved in this and more entities than just Jesus and Satan. There are many different characters in the Bible and most of the world has dumped it down to just Jesus versus Satan when there are a lot of other things going on. Jennifer Lawrence represents the law coming back and the woman that actually gives birth to all of us into our new immortal bodies. There is an actually a spiritual woman here on earth doing this. Right here near the River Nile and Cairo shows the woman. Right here Moses was taken over and underneath the burdens of Egypt they made the bricks. The scenario is here that everything is made here on earth is assembled in heaven. All of us are underneath the burdens of Egypt until we ascend and then we go off to our heavenly residence that has been made in heaven. We are the bricks. We are just as the Jews down here making the bricks and then they were taken over and put in charge on top over here in Jerusalem just as if they were born. The woman is right here. She is right here. This is the woman right here. She is actually working with Jesus Christ. Jesus is right over here in Jerusalem. They are working together the heaven and the earth. It's on many different hieroglyphs, even on this one. Right here is the woman. This is Jennifer Lawrence from The Hunger Games with her bow and arrow. This is Mystique, right here. And she's attached to Jesus Christ. She is going to bruise the head of the serpent. She is working with Jesus. She is considered to be one of his feet. Jesus is right here and when he throws down this guy, the accuser that accuses all of us, she bruises his head. A giant cataclysmic event will happen. That will be the day Obama is revealed. And you can actually see over here she's connected with the dog star. See the woman and the eagle for the rapture. There is a big group on the world that does not want this to happen. They seem to not be the virgins. In other words, they seem to already be spiritually working, going on. Not even the fallen angels. In other words, all the princes of heaven that come down here and want to live inside of the mortal bodies and play their games here on earth. They don't want Jesus to do his wrath of the Lamb. They don't want her to bruise the serpent's head. It's going to happen. Because after this happens, we all leave the wise virgins and the Great Tribulation comes across the earth. Everything is destroyed. They don't want that to happen. Of course they don't. In here, in the Hunger Games, she breaks the game. See her right here with her arrow? And she is as the Phoenix rising. See her dress was as the Phoenix? They called her the Mockingjay. See the Phoenix rising? Her rising? When this happens, it bruises the head of the serpent. See the phoenix? Right there. Perfect. Now, in this movie here, see her right here in blue? She goes and she bruises the head of the serpent. She does a, a 
an assassination on a gentleman called Trask. All of the other X-Men, which are just like the fallen angels who want the Earth to remain as it is, try, are trying to stop her. They don't want the wrath of the Lamb to happen. They want the Earth as it is. Because the, you, I'm a fan of this X-Men movie also, but you have to remember Wolverine killed the Phoenix. And, it's, I mean, he's a murderer. <laughs> they all are. All of these guys are murderers. And <laughs> they don't like Mystique. She's going to break the game. She is exactly the same as the Phoenix when Wolverine killed the Phoenix. It's the same character. Yes, she's around. She's known as Callie the Destroyer. See the girl in blue? And she bruises the head of the serpent. This represents one of the angels that is here, the, the spirit of law coming. See right here? This is the serpent's head. She is not the devil. She kills the devil. It's all right here in front of us. And you see that she represents the heel of Jesus Christ right there. See her right here? This is going to happen. This is real. You can see it right there. This is her button ready to push ready to break the planet and to bring vengeance upon the earth. This is the day we are born and they're trying to stop this birth. They are trying to stop her in every way possible that they can. They're not going to. They stopped her in this new X-Men movie and then the apocalypse still came on. You should start to realize now about this X-Men show. These guys are scared to death of Jesus Christ and of the end of days. Every single one of the X-Men just represents a fallen angel that is trying to just live here on earth because they have nothing when it comes to heaven. Nothing. They're not going back. This is what they got. They're hoping to stay here on the earth and live through this. But the wrath of the Lamb is coming and after she bruised the head of the serpent the New World Order rises up and takes all of them out. That's what they're scared of. They're scared of the woman. Jennifer Lawrence. See her right here? Callie, the destroyer, that is not a demon. She comes to bruise the head of the serpent. Vishnu would be considered to be as Jesus Christ. The Brahma, the bull, that has sacrificed himself. See right here is her husband, just like Jesus. He has sacrificed himself to stop her from destroying all of the universe. They work together. It's the same as in the Christian religion. She represents one of the angels of the Pallades, the seven sisters, the seven angels, the seven churches, the seven golden candlesticks, and Jesus' right hand, the woman that actually gives birth, right here. Just as when Moses was born from right here, he crossed the Red Sea and went up over here in charge. This has been shown to us all around. This is even over in America near San Diego. In the movie Top Gun, this is her right here, Kelly McGillis as Callie. And the USA is getting ready to give the finger to Russia. Meaning we're all going to check out the USA Falls and this will bruise the head of the serpent and then the New World Order will come out. Just as in here, Tom Cruise ascended. He became a Top Gun. We go up as these guys get the earth and it just destroys them all through there. Here is Miramar. We showed her as that dog, remember? Right here, the woman with the dog. Here she is right here. Kelly McGillis, Cali, Gold Coast. See the gold right here? The golden age to begin. Here is her body. And right here is the phoenix. You can't fake this. This is just too perfect. Sitting on her chest, ready to go. This is why we have to let her bruise the serpent and have to actually let her and Jesus break the planet. When she bruises the head of the serpent, this eagle flies away. This is our birth. These guys, the X-Men, are trying to stop you from being born into your new immortal bodies to, so they can still sit here on the earth and be as gods and kings. See them? The Wolverine, all these guys that are against her, 
These guys are actually working for Satan. This is how twisted our world is. They want to try to stop the apocalypse. The apocalypse gets rid of the evil. It cleans the planet. It's, it's Jesus that brings the four horsemen. All of these X-Men are against Jesus Christ and the woman. We just showed that the woman is working with Jesus and they try to kill her several times. What does the devil do when he comes? The devil, the Wolverine, tries to kill the woman. That's what it says in the Bible. And remember these things I show and tell you. Remember that, that, the, that most people don't know these things. See the woman and the dragon. The dragon persecutes the woman. So if Wolverine is coming back in time and is trying to kill the woman, this makes Wolverine the devil and Satan. And all of these X-Men are his angels. The same ones that killed Jean Grey the Phoenix and the same ones that are trying to kill Mystique. The same ones that are trying to kill the Phoenix. They are trying to kill you and me and all of my family that are going off to become ascended they're trying to kill us literally this is shown to us all the time I try to show that this isn't just one thing Britney Spears I want to go she wears the shirt showing San Diego being blown up and talking about I want to go I have a countdown ready and I'm ready to blow see the dogs She wants to go, and she keeps showing the number 21 and 22. She has the last taxi out, just as in the movie The Fifth Element with the girl with the red hair, catching the last cab ride out with Bruce Willis, and they went off to paradise and fought the darkness. See right here? Sin City, it's the same thing. A dame to kill for, right here. Rihanna shut up and drive she is that girl and she has the golden car the phoenix right here ready for all of us to ascend the devil hates her he hates the whore he hates all the women he wants everybody to die he wants to stop you from being born so now do you see how easily the world is tricked everybody that's liking these x-men guys wolverine's coming to kill you all of these X-Men guys are fallen angels. These are murdering killers. All of them, except for like Mystique and the Phoenix, which were basically, they were above these guys. These guys were like peons, because compared to Mystique and to the Phoenix, all of these X-Men are just junk in the trunk and chasing them, trying to stop the women. Thank you very much, everybody. This is real and right in front of us. They want to stop us all from being born. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen from the dead and you'll be saved. There she is ready to blow up the planet and when we leave this is the rapture right here. Everybody is trying to stop this. Not everybody but a big part of the world through here. Thank you very much everybody. May the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on us all. Even more than anything else they want to stop us from being born. Everybody is scared of what we are going to become. Everybody. Everybody in the universe is practically scared of what Jesus Christ is making with us. Even the angels are freaking out. We're going to be like Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah.